Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo Think Center Mini PC. This exact one is a Lenovo Think Center M715Q model. That information can be found right on the bottom. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can add or remove the RAM on your PC. We have upgraded this one up to 32 gig with no problem. Depending on your processor that you might have in here, the RAM capacity may be different. Even if the same model, the processors are a little bit different. I made a really short video to check what's your maximum RAM capacity for your um, laptop, PC. Check that link in the video description. So if you want to know what's the maximum capacity that you can go on your uh, computer. And in this video, I'm just going to cover up how to open it up and how to uh, upgrade or replace. Um, again, we have upgraded this one up to 32 gig with 216 with no problem. All right, with all that said, let's get into it. First thing first, you want to, on the back side in here, you might have to see a one screw right in the middle in here. Sometimes they give you this nice, easy unscrewing cap, or sometimes they just give you a out flat uh, a screw. Uh, fell left that all the way flush, flush down with the case. So use a screwdriver to remove it, or with your hand. Just release it. Sometimes these screws they do come out very loose and you cannot pull them out, that's fine. If yours comes out, just pull it out. And after that, what you want to do, you want to hold the bottom and the top cover, you want to slide it forward. So, pretty much, I'm just sliding it like this. Pull the top cover forward while holding the back cover. And just like that, because I can't pull no more, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lift it up like this. Okay, pretty much put and lift it up. And there we have it. And down here, we're still not going to be able to see the RAM because the RAM is right under the hard drive. To remove the hard drive, there's one screw right on the corner left top. Again, this, this screw has a riser and has a little grip for the hand. If you're really tough, you cannot rotate. Use a fillet number one or number two to remove this one. Just unscrew it, mine is pretty loose. I'm just gonna unscrew it. Doesn't matter if yours falls on the board, nothing's gonna happen. Then you wanna slide the hard drive towards in the front end a little bit and lift it up, bring it to one side. There's a tiny cable for the Wi Fi. Be careful with this cable, do not yank it. Remove the screw that I just dropped it in there. And the RAM is right in here. Somebody already they took it off this RAM. I'm gonna finish stripping it up so it looks better. All right. These are the DDR4 RAM. This has an 8 gig. You can put a 16 and 16 gig. To remove the RAM, to remove the RAM, all you want to do, you want to put your finger on this trigger right in here and one finger right on, on the other side. Just like this. And you want to pull them away from each other and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. Just like that. All you want to do is just grab it and pull it out in the same 45 degree angle this way. Okay? And right away you can see the second RAM then right underneath. Again, you can get the new RAM 16 gig DDR4. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim right there. So if I try to put this one the other way around, it's simply not going to go through because the notch are not matching. So in order to put this one on the bottom dim, again, you don't need to open this one. It's just to release the RAM, not to close it back in. Make sure the notch is matching. Bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector, inside the jack. And if it is like this outside and you try to close it, it's not going to go through. Make sure the pins have to go inside a little bit by 45 degree angle inside all the way in. And then simply push it towards the motherboard and you're going to hear these two triggers open and close. Just like that. You can grab, a, let me see if I have another one right here. Uh, I have another 4 gig. You can grab another 4 gig, put it on a secondary DIMM right on the top, it squeeze it in there, 45 degree angle, and push it towards the motherboard. And that's how you can add. The colors don't, don't mean anything, even if you, some of them they come with one single sided chip and some with double sided, the stickers that side, this side, doesn't matter. As long as the notch matches, you're fine. All right? By having two RAMs in there, doesn't matter 8 gig and 16 gig or 16 and or 2 8 gig, doesn't matter what uh, capacity they have, you're still gonna get a dual channel memory. So that's the best thing. 
So try to get both of them occupied so you get a dual channel memory activated automatically in the BIOS. All right. If you're only gonna use one RAM, you always have to make sure you put it on the top slot right in here. That's number one slot, put it right in there. Once you have the RAM upgraded or removed, all you wanna do, you wanna bring the hard drive in, make sure this hook goes right under this riser, and then there's a hook in there too. Slide it towards the front, towards the back, and make sure the screw hole matches, and then push down the screw down the screw right in here now when you power it on it might take five to ten seconds to boot up or and even it might boot up and the fan spins really loud and it after 10 15 seconds shuts down and again it turns back on that's called a mem check the model boy is going to do a mem check so don't worry about that all right put the cover on it slide it back and put the single screw right at the back in here Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. It tremendously, it really helps out with the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.